Hey everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today I'm taking a look at another piece of luggage from the Level 8 company. So this is Level 8 luggage. So as you can see, this is a pretty large bag. Uh, this is from their Vintage series. This is kind of a, like a green, I think it's called a jade green, at least on their website. Uh, like I said, this is their 26 inch checked luggage for women. So it's a little bit more feminine, I guess, for the most part in look and just construction. And I think on the inside as well. So we'll take a look when we open it up. I have done a couple other unboxing of Level 8 luggage on the channel, and I really do like their luggage. I've actually been using a couple of them on some short trips. In the past, I'd had uh, some of their carry-on luggage, and this is a, a checked one. So, you know, basically, this is what, uh, you know, the Vintage series looks like for women. You know, a bunch of kind of, like I said, feminine type colors, pastel -y colors for the most part. So this does have, you know, with all their luggage, they have low noise wheel, dual handles, uh, lifetime warranty, telescopic handle, TSA lock as part of the actual uh, luggage itself, which is nice. Made out of a high quality polycarbonate material. It's durable. There's the instructions for the TSA lock, how to use that, how to set that, a little bit about their warranty. And, you know, overall, standard kind of fare sort of thing. So we took this to the front of the luggage and I will do some measuring with just uh, my little measuring tape here. Now you can look up the dimensions on their website, but you know I, I always like to just kind of measure things just to see the overall dimensions. So if you look at this, the main uh, height of this is about 26 inches of space. Now obviously if you include the wheels, then you're closer to 28 inches in overall height. But you know, basically about 20 in, you know, right on the money for a 26 inch piece of luggage, the compartment is 26 inches. So if we flip it on its side here, you'll see this is the uh, side with the TSA lock on it. So obviously defaults to all zeros, pops open. Now these zippers are really nice. Same zippers I believe that were on their other luggage cases that I've seen. And they've been very durable in that use in the other luggage. So I'm sure they'll be perfectly fine here as well. They do have kind of a stitched edge here for where the, um, you know, the polycarbonate sides meet with the zipper lining. You do have a side handle. Now this, the width of this on from a side, it's about 10 and a half inches or so, I'd say. But we'll take a look at that in a minute. The back has a different texture than the, the front. The front is kind of like a smooth mat, and the back, as you can see, has a deep, kind of a deep texture in it. I don't know if that shows up on the camera, but this maybe gives a little bit more protection from getting scuffed and scraped when it's going through the different conveyor belts and, and whatnot in the airport and getting tossed into the plane's luggage compartment. You have your telescoping handle here. It goes up a couple notches, uh, slides pretty easily. So that's really nice. Then you flip it on this side and you'll see you've got some kind of plastic rubbery material stand posts on it. So if you're sitting it on its side, it's not you know, directly on whatever the surface is. There's a little bit of a standout there. Uh, this back part of the zipper is protected with the feels like a rubbery kind of gasket. So obviously when you're kind of opening and closing, you're opening it in this direction. Like I said, this is about eh, 10 and a half inches, give or take. The length is 26 inches, like I said. Uh, this is the top of the, the luggage. There's a handle here as well. And you can see the, the extension trolley handle there. And the only other part is the bottom. So we'll flip this over. So this is the bottom. These are the 360 degree wheels, quiet wheels, kind of rubbery plastic. Um, you know, when I first got the other one, I thought, oh, they, they seemed a little bit flimsy, I guess, but they're not. I, Cause like I said, I've used it a couple times in O'Hare airport and going through there with any kind of luggage is you know, always a, 
a good test of how, how well the luggage works and how durable it, durable it is. And I had no issues with their carry-ons, which is basically these exact same type of wheels. So really well made. So we'll open this up and take a quick look on the inside. And like I said, um, this is a little bit more of a feminine one. So the interior lining is kind of a slight beige color, I guess you would call it. Um, you have to have, you have cargo separation on both sides. So you could, you know, pack some stuff in, zip it up here, so kind of open one side at a time. They have nice uh, level eight branded zippers here. And you flip this open and then you'll find you have your luggage area. So you got a, you have a cinch strap here. So if you want to really tie things in and cinch it down tight and do that. And, you know, you do get pretty much all the room on the side. Besides, you know, there's a little bit of space that gets taken up by the wheels. And on this side, there's just a little bit of space that gets taken up by the trolley handle that goes into the case. But, I mean, generally, a uh, lot of room here. Kind of as you would expect on a, on a checked luggage. Then they do have the fabric over the hinge area. And then on this side, there's a couple different pockets. There's a pocket here that has a plastic lining. So you can probably put stuff in there that, you know, hopefully won't leak, but if it does leak, like uh, hair products or shampoos and things like that, if it does leak, it will be contained within this, this plastic lining and you won't get it all over your clothes. And the top part is not lined with plastic. It's just kind of, they got the mesh. So you can put other things in here that you want to kind of keep out of the main compartment. So, you know, once you get off the plane, if you want to open this up real quick and grab something out of here, you can do that. Keep it in this mesh pocket. So again, like I said, plastic lined pocket that's facing the bottom where the wheels are and then just a standard mesh at the top. If you go ahead and flip this over, then you have basically the same thing on the other side. So you got the cinch straps on the inside. Obviously the whole thing is lined, but on this side you get a little bit more depth because the trolley handles are not on that side. So this is the front of the, you know, the front side of the luggage. It gives you a little bit more room to pack some stuff in there. From the inside standpoint here, that's basically it, right? Two large compartments, zippers, mesh, the ability to cinch down your clothing or whatever you have packed in here with these straps, really nice. Plastic line pocket, mesh pocket. Yeah, and that's basically what the inside looks like. Go ahead and zip this back up. So obviously I will link to this in the description and you can find out a little bit more about this on the Level 8 website. They do have a carry-on version in this same uh, series, this vintage series. So they have a 20 inch carry-on, they have a 24 inch checked bag and then, then, then they have the larger 26 inch checked bag which is what I have here. If you're also interested, they do sell a luggage set which is the 20 inch carry-on as well as the 24 inch check bag. So if you're looking for kind of a matching set for carry-on and checked, you can do that as well. And again, like this is very attractive, very nice, very nice feminine look. Like I said, super lightweight. Yeah, and I'm just looking up some of the details on my phone here. So overall capacity of the larger bag here is 87 liters. Their 24 inch is 67 liters and the 20 inch is 38 liters. And from a weight perspective, this is 10 pounds, 10.1 pounds. Uh, the next step down, the 24 inch is 8.5 pounds. And the smaller 20 inch is 6.8 pounds. I will post the overall dimensions and the specs for all the different uh, combinations of luggage that is in the series in the description of the, the video. So again, if you're not interested in this giant 26 inch check bag, uh, the other ones will be similarly made in, in just smaller sizes. So yeah, that's basically it. So if you have any questions, definitely go ahead and post those below and I will certainly answer whatever I can or I'll find out the answer if I don't know it. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.